Today you're going to see four different demonstrations. The first two of them are going to be in chauffeur mode. What chauffeur means is that the car drives for you. You would use a chauffeur car if you can't drive, for instance, if you're disabled, if you don't want to drive, if the traffic is very bad, or if you're taking a taxi cab ride, like mobility as a service. The other two demonstrations are going to be in guardian mode. This is for people who want to drive. It's a safety net against having a crash. We have designed a special test car, which has dual steering wheels, dual brakes, and dual accelerators. The reason for this is that we need two different personnel in the front of the car. One is a safety driver. The other driver is a test driver. They are there to interact with the car as if they're the actual driver in a production car. But for our development, this is a tremendous advance because it lets us test the Guardian system with a actual test driver while still having a safety driver there just in case. We're going to start off with the chauffeur mode of the car, uh, where the car is going to be doing all the driving for us. So you can basically sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. All right, you ready, Sharon? Yes, I'm ready. Are you ready, Aaron? I'm ready. OK, here we go. And one of the real world things that we have to handle in self-driving mode are all the randomness that occurs every day. And actually in this lap, uh, we're recreating a scenario where we've had a pickup truck drive along the track and actually dump some hay bales out of the back randomly. So what you're gonna see is our car senses, does a safe lane change, senses the next one and also then changes back. Very simple. So what we're going to show you in this lab now is how this car is able to interact with the traffic uh, on the roadway. So as we're coming around the bend here, you'll see that there's a, another car on the track with us. The car senses it. <laughs> oh, uh, it's right there. See, we got actually our pickup truck parked in our lane blocking us. Oh, no. So you see our vehicle slow down, nice. tuck in behind that vehicle that was in our blind spot, and then do smooth lane change back. That was really smooth. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, very cool. Now we're going to demonstrate our Guardian system. We're going to emulate what happens when a driver falls asleep. Guardian can tell by using a camera that's part of the dashboard. The camera can even see through sunglasses in order to see what the driver's eyes are doing or if their head is moving into a position that indicates they're not paying attention. So Ryan, whenever you're ready, why don't you go ahead and pretend to fall asleep. And now Guardian has stepped in. It's driving the car for you. And now it will offer at some point to give it back to you. Why don't you go ahead and take it now? One of the most frightening things that can happen on the highway is when a car in front of you switches lanes to avoid debris. You have very little time to react because your view is blocked by the car in front of you. We have sensors that can see significantly better than a human driver can see. The Guardian is going to take over where a car switches lanes in front of us in order to avoid debris. Here, that car switches lanes. Guardian decides we have to switch lanes also, and we avoid having a crash. Now Guardian has offered to hand back control, and Ryan has taken control back of the car. So today you've seen demonstrations of two basic technologies that the Toyota Research Institute is doing research on. This is all part of PRI's work to eventually build a car that can never be responsible for a crash, regardless of what the driver does.